Hi Year 2, I've got an art lesson now and we are going to be looking at an artist called Paul Clay who painted a picture called Cat and Bird and I'll just show you a little picture of Paul Clay now. So there he is and he's an artist who was born in um, 1879 which actually was when Queen Victoria was on the throne in England but he wasn't born in England, he was born in Switzerland his mum was Swiss and his dad was German so his name is Paul Clay so E-E -E, but pronounced as if it's an AI or an AY and he was born in 1879 in Switzerland he became very famous he was a teacher as well as an artist and he taught in a famous art school called the Bauhaus which happened to be in Germany and this is the painting Ooh, there it is. It's called Cat and Bird and you can see he used a simple outline and you can see the cat's face and right at the top up there can you see the little bird sitting on the cat's head and I'm going to show you how to create this. I've selected lots of lovely warm colours. Can you see I've got all my colour cards out here? So I've tried to match them to the colours of the cat and bird and then I've picked out just a few of them pencil, uh, crayons I'm going to use crayons to colour him in I mean you can use anything you like you can use paints if you want or you can collage it with bits of paper so let's get started so I need a piece of paper and I'm going to do mine I'll hold it up at each stage just to show you and I'm going to start by doing a big W shape like this on my paper. I'll hold it up so you can see it. It's going round. Like that, there's my W. Okay. Next stage, I need to do a little mouth down here. So that's the cat's tongue. And then his nose is a heart shape like that. Above his nose I've got a triangle just here and then I need to do his eyes. They come from the middle. I join all the way across to the edge in an oval and then I go all the way back. That's one eye. Do exactly the same on the right hand side all the way around like that doing it all the way up. So two big eyes and then his pupils in the middle. Just kind of slight oval with a dark oval which I'm just going to go in black straight away with those. And then I'm going to do his other eyeball which is going to be a lovely green colour. There we go. And the last part is up the top. That's like his ear. That's going all the way down to the centre and that one's going all the way back up there to join that one up there. The last thing on the cat is his whiskers and he's got three that come out from here so I just do straight line out to the edge. Can you see? One, two, three. I'm going to go the other side. One, two, three. Like that. So there's my cat. Now I've got to do the little bird sitting on top. So the bird on top is I'm going to move this bit nearer. Two lines as the bird's legs. And then to add two extra ones, there's his little feet there. And his body is almost like a semicircle with a circle head triangle beak and he's got another little triangle for his tail oh and an eye and that is 
is how you draw the cat and the bird. Okay, this is your version, so you need to write your name at the bottom. So it's not Paul Clay, this is mine, so I'm just going to write Mrs. McMorrow. Whoops, sorry, I can't see properly. There we go. Now I'm going to colour in my cat and bird, and I'm using those lovely colours that I showed you earlier. So I'm going to quickly do some colouring to show you. Yellow, let's move that over there. So most of his face is going to be bright yellow. I'm going really quickly so you can spend a lot more time on it. Nose can be yellow. Actually, to remind me, I'm going to put the picture up there just to remind me of the colours. And his face, other side yellow. And then I can see quite a lot of orange splodges. Can you see on the original picture? All here. So I'm going to put some orange splodges on my cat. In here, just a few. It almost looks quite blurry, Paul Clay's one, so you can. What I did with mine, when I did it before, is I splodged some water on top. I've got the special crayons that turn into paint when you add water to them. But don't worry if you haven't got those, it doesn't matter. You can just still put your colours on top of each other. He's got a very pink nose. I don't know if you can see his very pink nose. And the bird is pink as well, so I'm going to... Bright pink heart nose. And the bird pink. And his pinky round here where his mouth is. Oh, sorry, can't see that. Pink down here. of him down here. Hayla. Not pressing so hard for that one. Sorry, that's my arm going everywhere. Pressing this quickly. Lovely green for his eyes. So bright green eyes, cat's eyes. There we go. And I've got some green down here. Now, what I'm going to do is, he's nearly finished. But I am going to add some water to him, so to make to make it more splodgy. Um, so I'm going to stop the video now, and then the last thing you'll see is the picture when it's finished. I'll show you a little picture at the end. Okay, good luck with your cat and bird picture. Bye.